Hello there YouTube. You can see uh, from this, or hopefully you can see from this, so I can't trust the lighting. Here's my new hat, top proper topper, uh, complete with feather. This is for the upcoming uh, United Underworld uh, project. Um, just to give you an update on that, I am getting a uh, recording, doing a recording session tomorrow afternoon for the voice of Batman. A uh, friend of mine's popping in to do that. And uh, I should record the visual around the same time if I have the space. Yeah, that's um, that's going to be interesting. Uh, we've got, as I said, with, uh, the um, previous video where I announced the cast. Um, that's just the beginning. Uh, Anybody else wants to uh, pile in with their own supervillain creation, feel free. Um, anyhow, other things to talk about. I have a, another um, Thoughts of No One in particular um, brewing. It's going to be a, a relatively... Um, uh, angry one. Uh, well, I'll try and keep calm myself, but it's going to make people angry. I'm just going to warn you in advance. Um, yeah, and review-wise, I will probably comically be going back to comics. Um, in the, I will end up. Next review I have planned is Batman vs Dracula. And uh, the rather bad, uh, well, not bad, um, rather uh, silly um, animated film. And um, yeah, going on to that. And um, yeah, just something that I got thinking about. This is a random thought. I may, may um, put these random thoughts into more of a organised. Uh, system in the future, but just a random thought. In the um, DC Comics universe, and to a lesser extent in the Marvel Comics universe, you have um, divine beings walking around who are very clearly, oh, not a lesser extent in the Marvel universe, not Thor, um, but you've got these beings from old myths and legends walking around you've got um, people having conversations with the creators of the universe yes Hal Jordan um, and um, yeah I was wondering how could uh, something like the uh, Christian fundamentalists we're all struggling with survive in a world like that in a world where a guy can stick on a green ring, fly across the galaxy and have a chat with the little blue man who created the universe, how on earth could fundamentalism survive? I mean, I've no doubt there's some kind of sort of strange um, liberal Christianity going on in the DC universe. There's only references to it. Um, but how could the fundamentalist side um, the biblical literalists like, survive in a world where it is very clear I mean there is a kind of a attempt to make the superheroes secret but it's, it's just so bad I can't see um, how things like this aren't common knowledge but yeah I'm just um, I've just been wondering that and I'd be very glad to hear your thoughts about that um, because certainly DC recently they've been trying to do things like um, talk about um, gay rights with characters like Renan Montoya and Batwoman, um, second Batwoman, um, but um, I'm just, um, I'm just uh, very um, 
very confused as to how something like Christian fundamentalism could survive in a world that clearly, uh, what well, we've had references to um, the uh, Judeo-Christian pantheon. There is at least one superheroine who is of that pantheon. However, um, and half angel. However, really they have shown very little evidence of their existence whilst um, the Greco-Romans are walking down the street every other week and the Owens, the little blue men who created the universe, are very prominent. Their, um, la their former lackeys, the lanterns, are all over the place. Um, you've got Superman is an alien, Kryptonian, and they're it's never really covered if the Kryptonians have a religion or not. Um, but um, yeah, the 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 crypto the Kryptonians are very different people to humans, and you have other races in there, the Martian Manhunter. Um, so how on earth would fundamentalist Christianity survive in in a comic book universe? There's a question. I appreciate any responses.